Hey everybody, it's Stephanie again. Um, I know, I'm doing a lot of videos. Basically, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, some of the things that I've noticed. I have fallen back into some bad habits, as we all do occasionally. And I stepped on the scale today, and I know that I don't go over 130, um, but being that I was at 130, and I know that last night I kind of vegged out more than I probably should have, I felt awful. Like, I was starting to panic. Um, I also know that I have been working out as well. So, muscle weight's more than fat. I get that. And I know I'm going to gain weight there. But I know what I ate last night was not exactly what I should have ate. So, um... I wanted to talk to you guys about what I did today. I, instead of sitting on my butt and like worrying about what I'm eating, I did something about it. Um, because normally I would just sit there and be like, oh well, I gotta find something. I know this bra does not go with this shirt, but whatever. I'd be like, oh well, I gotta find something to, um, to eat. But, uh, what am I going to eat, you know, because there's really not a whole lot here, so I guess I'm going to have to eat this crap that's probably not good for me. Well, I didn't want to do that because, uh, think about it, we've worked so, so hard to get to where we're at. Why mess it up? I mean, yeah, you're going to have satisfaction for about 20, maybe 30 minutes, maybe even an hour but your results are gonna stick with you for a lot longer. And we all know that. I was overweight for 10 years, and no, it wasn't my entire life, but I still struggled with my weight my entire life. I was never, like, huge when I was like, mm, five, six, seven years old, or younger, but when I, I don't know, right around eight years old, I just started pecking on the pounds, and I'd lose it, and then I'd pack on the pounds, and I'd lose it, and, you know, so I didn't want to do that, um, so what I'm doing, or what I did, rather, is I went to the grocery store, but before I went to the grocery store, I thought about the things that I enjoy eating, and I enjoy eating, but are healthier alternatives for myself. I thought about how I eat. Like, for example, when I'm sitting here and my husband's at work and I have like so much time to myself, it just really gets boring sometimes. And instead of resorting to something other than like healthy foods, I go for junk, carbs, bad stuff, sugar, things like that. Things that I shouldn't really go for. Occasionally I'll have like an egg. But then I don't feel satisfied. I'm like, oh, I still want something else, which is not good. Because I'm not really full off of like one egg all the time. So sometimes I am. In the mornings I am. I don't know if it's because my pouch is more closed up in the mornings. I have no idea. But anyhow, so I thought about like, okay, what, what can I eat that's not going to really be that harmful, but will fill me up, be satisfying, and be a healthy alternative when I do get into those cravings of like needing something. So I will tell you a list of a few things that I got. Maybe it'll give you guys some ideas. Um, I got grapefruit um, because I love grapefruit and they're not bad for you. So um, I got bananas because I, I like bananas, um, and it's better to eat a banana than it is to eat chocolate or uh, candy of some kind. And being that Halloween is like this weekend, or next week rather, um, there's a lot of candy around here, and I am like trying to fight it off, but it's hard. So banana alternative, fine. Grapefruit alternative, fine. Um, I bought cottage cheese because if I recall, cottage cheese was probably one of the best things that I ate right after surgery, like when I was in the 
you know, mushy to solid stage where I could eat a little bit of something else. And it filled me up, but it also was protein and it kept me full for a long time. Um, the other thing that I um, bought was plain original yogurt. Um, the reason for that is because my husband and I, because he works out, he needs protein. So, um, as do I, I'm, I'm working out too, but he goes to the gym like a lot. So I bought plain yogurt because what we do is I have this little like blender thing. I don't know. It's like a, I don't even know what it's called, but I got it from Target. It wasn't that expensive, 20 bucks maybe. And you put... I've, I find juice that is like diet, so it's like low sugar content because you don't really want a high sugar content because otherwise you're just kind of defeating the purpose of the protein. Um, so like, I don't remember, what, Ocean Spray I believe has a diet grape or something, cranberry grape, Concord grape, and it's like, uh, I think I think maybe three grams of sugar, I don't know, it's really low, low sugar content. Um, and I don't put very much of it in there either, just enough to get it liquid, liquefied a little bit. Um, I put like two little cubes of ice, because this is one serving for a person. Two cubes of ice. I put, um, we brought, we bought frozen strawberries in a big old bag from Costco, so I mean it lasts for a while. And we put like two large tablespoons of the plain, um, yogurt and then we bought we put two scoops of protein so that's like 52 grams of protein and I put it in the little blender thing oh and a little bit of juice and I put it in the blender thing and I blend it up in a few seconds I have basically a Jamba juice that's so much more healthier for me and not packed with all that frozen yogurt and crap so and it's awesome it's delicious and I use vanilla yogurt but you can use I mean vanilla protein you can use whatever you want probably the best thing to use would be like a like a peach or like an orange or banana um, protein flavored stuff but vanilla is awesome um, in fact I'm probably gonna make one here soon because I haven't had any protein today other than in a, a bar I also made these I got the recipe offline but it's a protein bar um, that's actually a cookie dough, but I made it into bars because it was just way too rich the other way. It was too much. Um, but I put like four scoops of, two scoops of chocolate, two scoops of vanilla. I use regular old fashioned oats with nothing else. I blend it all together with a, a little bit of butter, not a lot, but a little bit of butter. And then most of it is actually to liquefy it is, um, light but chunky peanut butter um and that's also a contributing to the protein but it's also got sugar so you gotta be careful um and then i also used um the tarani sugar-free vanilla syrup just a little bit of that blend it all together mix it up and then i put it on like a tray like a like a baking tray for cookies but i smashed it down really good but put um don't make the mistake I make. Put the oats at the bottom as well. Put them in there. Just mix up the oats until it's like a really thick consistency. Otherwise, you're going to have like a goopy bar because it's not something that you bake. Um, and then I just refrigerate it for like an hour. And then I cut the bars into squares and eat them as I go. And my husband actually came home last night. He did not like the paste that I made that was like a cookie dough stuff. It was too rich and he thought so too so but he actually last night or well yeah this morning when he came home from work he was like hmm these are pretty good I was like it's so much better with the oats right he's like yeah it totally dulls the strong flavor of it but it's not bad and it's got a lot of protein so that's good um the other thing I got was baby snap peas um carrots like the little baby carrots and cucumber and then I bought light sour cream to mix in with the um, the like green onion mix because I cannot stand regular ranch dressing. Ugh, ugh, just uh, sour like tasty. I don't like it. Um, 
so in moderation I will eat those but I don't want to eat a lot of the like sour cream on it so I'm gonna try to like keep that to a minimum and if all else fails you guys just recall what it was like back right after you had surgery I remember everything tasted awesome because I was deprived of, of flavors for so freaking long I mean honestly you guys want to hear something funny the smell of and I'm sure you all can relate to this the smell of chicken broth beef broth vegetable broth makes me want to barf because it reminds me of what I had to suck down at the hospital for seven days straight and then come home and do that for almost two months because of all my complications trust me flavors were like amazing I and I also don't know if you guys remember this but I believe I said it in my old videos right after my surgery I would sit in the hospital and watch the Food Network and my mom's like are you trying to torture yourself and I'm like no and it was right before um, Thanksgiving so you guys know that there was tons of like great freaking stuff on there it was awesome to watch it and think oh that looks so yummy but my mom's like you're torturing yourself no I wasn't because for some reason the fact that I knew I couldn't have it it didn't bother me I literally felt like by watching it I was eating it and it was like satisfying for me I know that sounds crazy but I it was like I could smell it but it was probably because they were serving like um, turkey and like roast and stuff like that with mashed potatoes and gravy to my neighbor next to me <laughs> who was eating it and I'm sitting there with my jello, my sugar-free jello, my popsicle, my hot tea and my broth. And I'm like, mm, I don't want it. I just don't want it. But you know, flavor was so satisfying right after surgery. And now I feel like I'm neglecting that again and I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want to make this video too long and hopefully I can keep going here without it cutting me off or not uploading. But um, another thing that I bought, because I'm, I'm really picky with meats. After surgery, I, before surgery, I was picky with meats. I was a vegetarian for like 10 years, which clearly didn't help me in the weight department. I still gained the weight. Um, and so anyhow, I stopped eating meats and stuff for a while. Then I got back on eating meats, which was good. But after surgery, I don't know, I have a hard time eating meats, like certain meats, like tri-tip for one. Any fat, I literally shred that thing to pieces. My husband is like, what are you doing to that piece of meat? I'm like, you know I can't eat that. If I eat that piece of fat, I'm going to freaking throw up because it's going to get stuck or it's going to make me sick. One or the other. And I just, I don't want to eat it. So fine, I'll torture it and then you can eat all the rest of the crap if you want it. And he does. <laughs> But, um, so I don't eat a lot of meat, so I have to get my protein in somewhere, which I resort to beans. Um, I have found that eating pinto beans with cheese is awesome. And to also help get that full feeling, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but if you eat something hot, you feel full faster. Um, so what I do is I get those, like, golden pepperoncini peppers or pepperoncini I don't know what it's called but they're like the hot Greek peppers and I'll put two of those in with my um, beans and the cheese and I'll sprinkle the juice on there I'll even eat the peppers because I like them and the hotness fills me up so fast but it's it's so yummy like it's really good and the beans are protein so I get that and it's it's really cheap to do that too you guys Pinto beans in a can are like 89 cents, but pinto beans in a bag are like 89 cents and you make like an entire thing. So if you want to crock pot beans and you want to do it that way, do it that way. But if not, then whatever, do it however you want. Um, I gotta make this quick. I'm about to run out of time. Basically that was it. I, I got some grocery items that I know will help me in the long run and I hopefully gave you guys some ideas on things as well. I gotta go because it's gonna cut me off or not gonna upload if I to make this too long so I hope you guys are doing great I love you guys and I will talk to you soon Mwah.